Hey guys, it's Azzy, and welcome to another video about Escape from Tarkov. Who would have known? Now, if you are aware, if you're part of the community on my Twitch channel, should be a little pop-up around here somewhere. Um, we hit a goal uh, just before Christmas, and if we hit the goal, uh, I was going to do the next wipe without a container. Uh, all the way up until Kappa, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Pray for my mental sanity. Um... And I want to talk to you in this video about the two guns that have carried me through the entire wipe. We're almost level 40 now, uh, so we are modifying guns and we're changing it up sometimes, but these two are my go-to, my fail-safes or my fallbacks. Um, you know, if, I, if I'm if i pretty pretty tight on cash or if I'm just not having good raids. These two guns force me to play a certain playstyle and it works out brilliantly for me. So let's, uh, let's, let's go and have a, have a talk about these two guns. Okay, so I did mention two guns, and you may have thought I meant two loadouts, but I am a big fan of double gunning, because it has both, both of the guns can suit any needs for any particular interaction I have with scavs or PMCs or sniper scavs. I've got the loadout and it's ready for me. Now, this loadout is pretty cheap. It obviously is it's more expensive than just running a pistol, but I feel like you, you could increase your surviving capabilities by putting more gear or more money into your loadout. Now, instead of pistol running, try these out. So the PP-19, the PP-19 is pretty cheap. It's available at Prapo for 21,000 rubles. The AK-100 handguard is also uh, 1,400 rubles. That's 1,400 rubles, incredibly cheap. And it also allows you to put on a tactical, like a flashlight or a laser, and it's just an added option, but that is what I start off with straight away. If, if you are fighting PMC's close quarters, that torch could save you a uh, hundred times over. If you're not using a torch, it's, you know, it's, it's a pretty, pretty easy gunfight. The PST ammo, a stack of 150, because it is an SMG, it does shred through ammo. A stack of 150 PST is available from Peacekeeper, level one, and it's about $95 for that 150. And then just as an, audit, uh, an additional extra, you do have the Cobra side, the EKP-8, uh, that you can just slap on top. All of that loadout is level one from Prapple, and it just does the job. Let's just show you. So this is just the modifications that I have uh, just showed you, and nothing else. No foregrip, uh, no butt pad on the, uh, the stock, no suppressor, cheap and cheerful and it just works beautifully. And you also have a torch. You can't complain of that. The torch can save you several times in a gunfight. It's ridiculously blinding for the other person or the, the other, your enemy's POV. It could either save you to get to a different area or whilst you're peeking a corner or whilst they push you, that torch could be the, uh, you know, the final straw that could change the tide of the fight. Try it out, let me know how you get on. Now the second gun, straightforward and simple. It is the Mosin, of course. Now it's unfortunately the Mosin without a scope at the moment. But the Mosin infantry, the Iron Sight Mosin just has a special place in my heart. The Mosin sits at 34,000, and then a stack of 40 LPS sits around 12.7, say 13,000 rubles. So it's a bit of a money sink, However, if you put these two together, you have something absolutely beautiful in your loadout. The beautiful thing about this loadout is the fact that it plays mind games with your the enemies. It plays mind games with other PMCs. Now, everyone is probably guilty of this. Everyone is guilty of hearing a Mosin, and you're pretty close to them, and you can get even closer. You're thinking, ah, oh, he's only got a Mosin. And you're going to run in and try and push him because if he misses that one last shot, you've got him dead to rights. However, if someone hears a Mosin and they push you and then you turn around the corner and you've got a PP-19, it ain't going to end well for them. Or at least it's going to put them off pushing you. And it can change the tide of fight massively. So try this loadout out. It's pretty cheap. It's pretty effective. I mean, you can keep modding it and keep modding it. You can put suppressors on the PP-19. You can put a better stock on the PP-19, a better hand, 
um, a better hand grip. You can put a, a foregrip on it. The possibilities are endless, but this is where it starts. Try this gun out. It's a beauty of a gun. And try the loadout out. The amount of times that people have pushed me thinking I'm a Mosin man and I ha only have a Mosin at my disposal, it has ended well for them. I mean, sometimes they've won, of course. It's Tarkov. But two mans, three mans, four mans, armies of scabs, they've all run in thinking, oh, this is an easy kill. It's a Mosin man. He only has one shot at killing me. And then as they peek around the corner, you just see the face of regret. It's a good feeling. So try it out. Try the PP19. Try it for me. And let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching this quick one.